Hello guys, how you all doing? Um, first of all, I want to wish you a uh, belated Happy New Year. Uh, this is my first video of 2019. And um, I did plan to do another video. I was going to do a, like a sort of top five video of the pieces I got in in 2018. And this was one of the last pieces I got in. So I wanted to hold off and I, I just never really got around to doing the video. So I'm just kind of going with... A video on this guy for now um, and like I say I've got this in kind of in early December so I've had a good chance to really sort of soak it in and, and, and just basically stare at it for a long time because this piece is amazing absolutely amazing I've always fancied this piece um, I had a few issues just by looking at photos and, and even some of the videos um, in that I always thought the, the body um, kind of look, looked a bit plasticky um, but it really isn't the case I'll go into that um, when we get a little bit closer but um, I did actually get to see this in person when I picked up my um, James Bond bust and that day I saw so many excellent pieces just just custom pieces from some of the best artists in the world to like the Sideshow Grails ECC etc etc and this piece really stuck out. I come away and this really kind of was engraved in my memory and I thought, I've, I've got to try and get it. So I managed to get a really good deal on this guy in December and um, it is amazing, absolutely amazing. I mean, like I say, I, get, I got to see it at a fellow collector's house, um, but until you get this thing in front of you um, and you can watch so many videos uh, you can look at so many photos, but nothing quite prepares you for the sheer size of this thing. It is massive. But let's get in a bit closer. Um, the light isn't going to be great. I would usually move the, the piece into the middle of the room, but it, it's just too heavy. It's such a heavy, bulky, massive piece that I don't want to touch him. It's just, it's just, yeah, he's an absolute monster. Let's have a look at the base. So we've got this kind of uh, really nice uh, kind of metal looking base. Got some really nice weathering, kind of copper and uh, brass colours, some red, some brown, some really nice distressing and weathering going on there. Um, some really nice sort of dry brush work. So you've got the nameplate there. Um, not usually a fan of nameplates, but this looks really nice. Um, it's done really well. The base has got a lot of weight to it, and if you have a look here as well, you can see some of the finer detailing, um, which unfortunately the bus covers a lot of, but it's nice that it's there, so you just get a hint of it when you look at it from a higher angle. And then, yeah, my issue really in pictures was this section of the bus. I always felt it looked a little bit plasticky. But it really isn't the case. It's stunning, just absolutely stunning. If you look closely, you can kind of see that almost like leopard pattern running through his skin. And um, it's kind of laced with loads of nice earthy browns, reds, creams, oranges. There's some really nice depth. And I absolutely love this sort of, all this wrinkling going throughout like his uh, torso up to his shoulders. And then you get onto the money shot, really. Um, this this piece is just it, it's just a stunning piece. Like I say, nothing really prepares you for the sheer size of it. Um, it's it, it, it's a tall bust. It's got a massive head. I just put my hand there. It kind of gives you an idea. It is huge, but it's like the span and the bulk. Um, if you kind of look, these traps. I'll, I'll use traps. I don't know what the the wolf uh, muscle terminology is, but uh, we'll go with traps. They're just huge, really, really bulky. If we come round, you can see some of that detailing again. We go up to the face. And then in the face, you can kind of see this uh, stripe effect going on. Really nice, subtle cream and red stripes it's just so well done so so well done and then what could be the best part of this statue 
is the teeth. Again, you have to see it in person because they look so detailed. They have a, a slight kind of a translucency to them. Some really nice tones, but they look like razor sharp when they're in front of you. They're really, really menacing. And then if we look in the mouth, again, the light is not really doing me any favours, but ECC just don't leave anything you know they, they they don't scrimp on any detail there's some really nice kind of under mouth dark dots in there different tones it's just amazing we look at the eyes they've got a really nice kind of dark greeny black gloss um they almost look like cold and and um just 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 dead like but very very menacing You see, like the uh, the the hat that the head, sorry, is kind of just tilted off to his left. Now, what's really cool with this piece is uh, ECC and Steve Wang and his team. They actually used um, the same hair as what was used on the Lycan props in the Underworld movies. So uh, this is like legit um, Lycan hair. Um, and what's really nice, it feels really good quality, but what's really nice about it is the uh, they've used different tones of hair in there. So you've got like reds, you've got like black, brown, you can see these like greys all running through. And um, it's, it's an excellent quality. You can kind of like poof it up into a mohawk, you can have it flat, you can kind of have it um, sort of spread out over the years. It's, uh, it's superb. And again, it's the same here. And you've got his uh, kind of like a beard using the same hair, all those different tones. And then what I really like as well is they've actually gone to the trouble of adding that hair. If we just focus in. They've even laid it around the ears and on top of the ears as well. You can see there the uh, individually hand laid strands and there's no like I, I've 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 hand laid hair it's a very very messy job you can leave glue behind but they've just done it to an absolutely brilliant standard if we look at the mouth just to give you an idea I can actually get I know it looks a little bit ominous but I can actually get my fist clench fist in his mouth with a bit of room that kind of gives you an idea of the size of this thing. If I go around, this gives you a good angle. I mean, it's a very, very tall bust, but the way the body kind of goes back and then the whole head um, just, just protrudes right out. It really comes out at an angle. You can see it there. It's just amazing, but it's an absolute monster to carry. I mean, this is one of the heaviest busts I've ever owned um, and to get it into the base the way they kind of angle the key uh, it can be a, like, a little bit troublesome very very scary but it's amazing I did say on my Medusa video that that was the best mass produced bus I've ever seen personally uh, I know there's some great busts out there this is up there with it if not better it really is a stunning piece and if we look at the side, I love the way all this wrinkling carries out through the body and then onto the face, it's like a slightly different texture. And then it's like back up to these like prominent wrinkles around the top of the head. You see some of those really nice tones in the ear as well, all those reds, those creams. It's just a, an amazing, amazing piece. Anyway, I thought I'd give you a little look at that one. This is the uh, life-size Lycan bust by Elite Creature Collectibles. One of the biggest busts you'll ever see, I think, if you do happen to own it or you want to pick it up. It's an absolute monster. And you'll love it. It is an absolute stunner. Anyway, I've got 30 seconds, guys. I will uh, be doing uh, something a little bit different, uh, a video on the channel in the next few weeks, something you might be interested in. Um, so look out for that one. I've got some cool other bits on the way. So stay tuned, and I will see you on the next one. Take it easy, stay safe, and I will catch you later.